Hey everybody, this is Fezador. I am continuing my episode 3 run of Heretic with the Ultraviolence difficulty for the PC using the GZ Doom engine. So, I am re-recording level 2 in uh, map 3, the cesspool. So, the, the previous recording had some pretty bad sound problems, so I'm re-recording it, so hopefully it's a little more uh, bearable. So, we're in some sort of sewage type area. Um, so, just go ahead and go straight. Um, you'll lure a couple of gargoyles. I'm going to go ahead and use a claw on them, take them out. And then we'll go right into this uh, courtyard area, this watery courtyard. Uh, grab the goodies here, go up on the stairs. And you'll see the yellow key. We cannot grab it just yet, though. We will grab it in just a minute. Go ahead and take out all the baddies, mostly gargoyles, a couple of saber claws. Nothing we can't really handle, I guess. out of uh, claw ammo, so let's use my health staff. Okay, I think I left one uh, saber claw, did I not? Maybe not. Okay, so from the beginning, if you're fa facing from the beginning, take the right path and take out the saber claws. And then finally, the crossbow. Go ahead and shoot the gargoyles, take out the barrels, stay very, very far back because they hurt if you get too close. Now with the crossbow, go in that dark alcove, grab the wings, blast those barrels in front of you, and to the left, take out any uh, gargoyles you might see. Do a 180 and take out the nitro golems. There should be two of them. Grab the Tome of Power in the corner. Grab any health you might need, and on the right, flip the switch, blast the barrels and any gargoyles after your way. On your right are some gargoyles. Go ahead and take them out. They will fly at you if you haven't worded them already. And you'll see the claw right there um, with a couple of ophidians. We will deal with them in just a minute. But first, let's go ahead and blow up the rest of these barrels. Grab whatever items you need, health, ammo. I believe there's some health here. Okay, so now, okay, on this uh, ledge right there, there is an urn. We cannot grab that yet without, without the wings, but um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and grab it because I'm not coming back here. So let's go ahead and use our wings. We don't really need the wings for the rest of the map anyway, so. Okay, now that we have the yellow key, we can go use the yellow door. So we're going to go ahead and take the one on the left from the starting point. Take out the saber claws. And then there's a torch back here on a little alcove, so go ahead and grab that, because we're not coming back there anyway. Go ahead and take out the Saber Claw, and keep going down the corridor. There's lots of gar gar gargoyles, rather. Go ahead and take them out, and barrels uh, with some ophidians in the back. So we'll deal with them with the uh, Hell Staff, probably the fastest thing, because they take a lot of hits. It's ran out of health staff ammo, so the claw will have to work. Now, individually, their shots don't do a whole lot of damage, but they add up, so just be careful, okay? If you, if you can afford to take one or two hits, fine, but all five hits, including that last orange one, that can be kind of painful, so uh, I'm going to go back to my crossbow. Now, the next room is also going to be rather insidious, so... Um, Grab the claw, and then we're going to go get our ring. We'll need that. Activate that, and then the tome power, because there's lots and lots of the uh, disciples. And, like, lots, and there's like four or five, not that many, but the way they're placed, though, makes it very devious, and uh, it can kill you if you're not paying attention, so it's easiest to use the ring. And then, on this ledge, is a green key, and it brings a trap with several affinities. Just go ahead and knock them out. And there's a shadow sphere. Okay, so um, facing the uh, green key, go ahead and take that left teleporter. It takes you back to where we were before. So now that we have the green key, we'll open up the green door. 
guarded right away by the Disciple. And then multiple gargoyles. Grab the Chaos device to the left. Just keep firing away. And yes, there are more Disciples in here. There's quite a few in this level. Crossbow makes it a little tedious, but it's safe from a distance at least, so. There we go. I'll go ahead and claw it up now they got some ammunition for it. Someone's tearing me up from behind. I hear some rattlesnakes, so. Alright. Alright, in this little alcove, there's some ammunition and some uh, flasks. Go ahead and take that. Open up this blue flag for your next secret. And it reveals an, an Ophidian with the Phoenix Rod. This is actually really close to the starting point, so in case you haven't noticed that. Okay, so keep going on. It'll lower a ledge, which is actually right behind your starting point. Go ahead and fire away. Okay, next up, quite a few guards, fire guards, and I believe some saber claws and an Ophidian back there. Go ahead and take them out. Here, hell staff. Yeah, I'm actually starting to get a little low on ammunition. Go back here. Don't forget that flask because that's an easy to miss item if you're not careful. So I'm sure you can hear some Ophidians there. Um, go ahead and grab all the items. Okay, so back here, I'm going to want to fight safely from a distance. I'm going to bring my rod. And it reveals a devious trap with several um, disciples. Here, I'm going to go back up. Fight them from a distance. The only problem with this is it can pull them towards you depending on what angle you're firing them from, like like that. So just be careful. Okay, here I'll go back to my claw. There might I think they're all dead, but I just want to be 100% sure. Grab all the goodies that they were guarding, mostly ammunition and some time bombs. Okay, I'm gonna grab that map. I'm gonna open that door for the next secret. Take out the Ophidian, guarding another ring. Now, grab the last of the, uh, the goodies in here, climb up the stairs, uh, grab the morph open, and then uh, finally the fire mace, which um, is on the ledge right there. Here's some uh, saber claws, I believe, or a were dragon, one of the two. I think it's a were dragon. Yeah, it's a were dragon. Alright, just take out the barrels there. Alright. Take them out, one by one. And this one over here is guarding a hell staff. And take out the gar uh, the golems rather. This is familiar area because this is where that Tome of Power was before. And this teleport will take you back to that room where the green key was with all the disciples, so. Alright, there's that. Alright, so we're going to go back up, take the stairs, um, the gray stone area, just go ahead and come on. Take them out for your next secret, I think it's the last one. There's the flag there, it reveals a shield and uh, a map, or a, a bag of holding rather. How are we doing right now? Oh, we got just two more kills left. Okay, so, last one, open this door right here, and you could open that um, when you're before you're fighting those disciples on that trap. Take out that, grab the gauntlets if you need them. Okay, whip out your old Phoenix Rock as the last monster to kill is right behind this door. Iron Lich. Take his item, and that's it. We're done. Okay, so that's the cesspool. Um, as you can tell, it's definitely getting harder than the previous two missions. Um, 99 kills. You know, 99 monsters is not a huge amount, but it's definitely dangerous. Lots of devious traps, and uh, 
that's all I have to say about it. It's a fun level. So the next one is a confluence, and uh, until next time, I am signing out.